Hey everyone, Mary here from Mindful Movement with Mary. As you can probably tell, we're not doing yoga in this video. Today, I want to talk about composting. Yep, turning your food waste into dirt. I have always been a huge fan of composting. My family did it growing up. And uh, as soon as I got my own house, we started to do this as well. And I think it's one of the best things you can do to reduce your household waste. So once you start composting, you're gonna notice that you have far fewer bags of garbage at the end of the week. And it's just, it's shocking how much you can actually compost. So today I wanna to share with you three ways that you can compost because not each way works for every family. Um, so number one is the way that I do it. This is the most basic backyard composting. And I'm gonna show you my compost and the process. Now, caveat, I am a lazy composter. I do not do the recommended ratio of greens and browns, which are um, leaves, grass clippings, sticks, to food waste. There's different ratios that you're supposed to put in. I usually just do a little bit of leaves, a little bit of grass throughout the summer, and then all of our food waste throughout the winter, you'll see that. And then you're supposed to stir it every couple of weeks and uh, that's gonna produce the dirt a lot faster. I stir it maybe three or four times a year max. So what you're gonna see is not ideal, <laughs> but I wanna show you because it still works. It's totally valid to do it this way. It's just not gonna produce dirt as quickly um, as it would if I was doing this the correct way. So let me show you backyard composting done Mary style. All right, so here is my compost bin on the top of the counter. So this is just right next to the sink. And so I put all of the food waste in here. Um, you can do tea bags at home. You can do any produce. So you can see I've got apple cores, orange peels. Um, you can do coffee grounds, eggshells. I think there's even some stale bread in here. Basically anything that's... Um, that doesn't have meat or dairy or fats or oils. So all produce, um, bread that doesn't have fats and oils on it, and um, eggshells are great, tea bags, coffee grounds, like I said. All right, so we're gonna take this out together to the compost bin. Heading out the back door. Sorry, it's gonna be a little windy. And I am blessed with a really large backyard, so I can do backyard compost. All right, there it is. There is the compost bin. So typically compost bins are black. They want to absorb as much heat as possible. We want the sun to warm everything up and break things down. You'll also note that I have a thermometer here. Now, one of the reasons why I'm a bad composter is because my temp is not up in the active range. So you want it to be in the green range for it to be doing the best, most efficient composting. It's breaking down things. It's also in that range of temperature it's able to kill weeds and other harmful um, plants, bacteria that would be uh, uh, not so beneficial in your actual compost. All right, it has a lid. And so you're gonna see this is not ideal. This is just all the waste from the winter because I have not had any yard waste to add to it. This is just the beginning of the spring. But you know what? For some reason, it still works because at the bottom of this barrel, there is dirt. And also, it never gets all the way full. So I figured it must be doing something. All right, let me put it back down. So that is a backyard composting system. Again, it's ideal if you stir it, flip it around, add leaves and grass clippings as often as possible. Some people even add newspapers, paper bags, and um, then you'll have dirt every few months. All right, so that was option one, backyard composting. But maybe you don't have a backyard, or maybe you think what I just showed you was kind of gross, both of which are totally understandable. So the second option, which is a really great option, is curbside composting. Um, just like you would put your trash and recycling out, a lot of towns are now offering curbside composting. So you would receive a small bin, and each week you put your waste in there, and then they take it um, curbside once a week. And the beauty of curbside composting is that someone else is handling this for you, that all you have to do is put it on the curb, but two, they can compost a much wider variety of things. So they can take meat products, dairy products, sometimes fabric I've heard of, 
Um, they can take those compostable dishes that you may have seen, like the plates, cups, and bowls, and silverware that are supposed to be compostable. They're not actually compostable in the backyard. It takes a lot more um, higher temps and careful monitoring of moisture and water and oxygen and all of that to make sure those items break down properly. So curbside um, is a really great option because they are a commercial composter. They know what they're doing and they have, um, this is all at huge scale so they can break down a lot more material. So I love that option. Option three, if you do not have a backyard, and you don't have a town that does curbside composting, you can do countertop composting, believe it or not. So I have now seen these devices that look like a bread maker or a toaster oven, they're about that size, and you put some food waste in, um, I think you put a little bit of water, and they break down the material into, um, into dirt in just a matter of hours sometimes. So I think it's 12, 24 hours, something like that. And I, caveat, have never used these myself. I have just recently started to see them and I think they're a really great option for people who maybe live in an urban environment in the city um, where you don't have these other two first options. And they're utilizing a concept that's similar to worm composting, which is a whole nother type of composting um, that I'm not gonna get into, but basically worms break down dirt into small particles by eating through it. And so the um, device, shreds the material and adds the right oxygen and heat components and then can break things down pretty quickly. And I have seen that they are claiming to be able to do this with a wider variety of things as well, similar to curbside, maybe not quite with that range, but they say that you can put in the silverware and plates that, that are compostable as well. So that's it, backyard composting, curbside composting, or countertop composting. Figure out which one works best for you and start composting. It's one of the best things you can do. It's easy, you will reduce your household waste, plus you get dirt for your garden. It's awesome, it's a win-win. So start composting today and I'll talk to you soon.